I've been killing as long as I can remember. Ireland, Georgia, and here. But it was never for the pleasure in it, do you understand? Although I'm good at it. And a man should take pride in what he does well. But if you go simple with blood, then you could lose your eye. And I meant to never do that. Because I was always going someplace better. Killed me first when I was seven. One of them bloody lobster backs. You know, the type that was running Ireland like it was his own vegetable patch. You see, they had huts on the land. Our land. Yeah? Running through our fields on their fine horses with their blacks and scarlets. Yeah, it was a fine sight, all right. If you could just get past that fact, that's your crop out there being trampled on for their sport. Do you ever notice how the distant bane of a fine pack of hounds it's like it's kind of like it's like a child crying itself to sleep. Do you ever notice that? Anyway. Oh, oh yeah. You see one of the silly bastards, well he he must have had too much to drink. And he started to lag behind the rest. Then he went to clear the wall and, well, he had a bad fall. And then the horse rolled over him. He must have been all broken up and sweet because he couldn't move. I well, was the first to get to him. I remember standing over him and he had the queerest look on his face. And I mean, I must have been some sight, you know, snotty nosed boy with a more dirt than clothes. I wonder what they would have thought now, you know? Them always being so high and mighty. And then I just stood on his neck, like St. Patrick crushing a snake. You see, there's no point in it. Because I learnt early, blood's just a coin of the realm. And yeah, you have to pay strict accounts to it and pay your debts and that's it. I mean, now look at me. I'm a man of land myself, you know? The ground's so rich you could eat it with a spoon. I'm yet to piss on the ground and something grows from it. I mean, I've everything I've ever wanted. You know, corn for whiskey, oaks to put it in barrels and float it down the river to sell. I mean, what more do I want? The land and to be left alone. I've more than that snotty-nosed boy ever dreamed he could have. And something isn't right. I mean, I'm coming in and laying by more fruit than one man could ever eat in a year. And instead of feeling full, I'm feeling hungry. I feel empty. I mean, what's it all for? Was all this for nothing? All this blood and sweat? If after 10 years I'm gone, the damn forest comes back and covers me land again. Or worse again, some stranger does. Michael, my boy, what you need is a family. And for that, you need a wife. 